guys welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today's video is about an exciting news from canva canva has got a new uh, addition to their editor where they uh, allow us to make uh, curved text on our design so in this video i'm going to show you step by step how you can uh, create your own curved text in your design that you are working on and then you can take your designs to another level Hi guys, my name is Steve from stevenjohnc.com. I make two videos a week, one video for personal development and education like this one, and the other video is usually about health and nutrition. So without further ado guys, uh, we'll get into the computer and then I'll show you how you can do this for yourself. Okay guys, we are on the homepage of Canva. Uh, obviously to get here, the first thing that you need to do is to sign up for a free account on Canva. It's all free, so just go to uh, canva.com and then you'll be directed to uh, a sign up page. Uh, once you, see, you finish signing up, uh, you'll be able to log in and then you will come up to this page. So um, we'll get onto it uh, straight away. Uh, we are going to create a template where we have a cuffed text on it uh, so that we can uh, try this new uh, um, option uh, into a Canva editor. So I found a template uh, that we can use, as you can see it's here. So I um, just want to create a text that will come up. I'll put it up here and then uh, I'll just put this text as well here just to know what we're talking about. We're talking about the Kev text on our design and then I'll do another design that uh, will just kind of work around it and create a different uh, Kev text uh, at the bottom. So the first thing that I need to do is to get a text onto this page that will be uh, curving. And the shortcut to that is to get a text onto the canvas is to uh, just press a T on your canvas and then it will bring a text holder there. So I'll just uh, type thank you Canva. So we've been waiting for this uh, option uh, for a while. Uh, it's been really difficult to try and um, create a curve text. Uh, before this uh, new edition we had to have each individual text uh, throughout until we get the whole uh, text care. But now we are so grateful to Canva that they've managed to uh, uh, provide this uh, option into the editor. So I've got my text there to say thank you Canva. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag it up a little bit so we can work on it from there. Um, and I'm happy with that. Uh, it's in the middle, as you uh, can see the yellow lines or the purple lines coming up. So I've got a video on how to use Canva for beginners. I'll put the link up here and then I'll link all the, um, I'll put a card up and then I'll link uh, uh, down below so you can go and uh, find uh, that video. It's, uh, it's an amazing video. Uh, so you can learn so much about Canva from that video. Uh, anyway, we'll just keep going. So what we need to do now, uh, we need to click onto that text and then once we click on that text, there's a, a toolbar that comes at the top there, as you can see all the way there. And then on that, there's this effect bit there. So effect, it brings out this page on the left or this um, folder on the left side. So if you look closely uh, at the end, uh, at the bottom right there, there's a word that says curve. So that's our trick there that uh, is new. It wasn't there before. So when you click onto that, the text that you've selected is going to be curve. Then you can work on that. So I will click on that and then you can see that thank you Canva text I've just put up is now kept but it's not really nice there, it, it doesn't uh, really look uh, fine. So what I'm going to do uh, on the toolbar there below or this um, grid that you can just uh, play around with your text there so you can drag uh, all the way out and then uh, back as well uh, until you, you, you reach to where you want your text to be. So I'll just see how we can do this. Um, just wanted to, to kind of um, be just over uh, that design there. As you can see, it looks nice. I can um, increase the font size. Uh, let's see if we increase that font size. That looks better. It's, it's almost like uh, the same length as the entire uh, design, the width of the design. So you can see the purple line comes up. That tells me that it's right in the middle and I'm happy with that. Um, so we'll try again, there we go. And then I will just go to the effects again, just to see uh, if I increase a little bit, as you can see, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, and that's it. So uh, that's how you can create a text uh, and then curve it onto your design. Um, so I'll just put this uh, just up there, just a little bit, just to get our design a bit fancy. <laughs> and then what the other thing that you can do is uh, you can click on that text again and then uh, change the, the font. Um, let me see, anything that will make it look nicer. So I will, uh, I think that one looks really good actually. Yeah, let's see if we can increase the 
to be in the middle again there we go i think uh let's see yeah we are right in the middle now uh so that's what you can do and then um you can obviously work on your text what i did at the bottom here with that text i then worked onto the elements that i had put so i've put the elements and changed a bit of colors you can see here they are brown so i just changed the color uh, you can change any color to any color that you want. You click on that square um, colored uh, box, it brings the color palette that you can then work on it uh, separately. So I'll see if um, that one brings something near us. Let's see. And this one, we'll get that one. That's, yeah. Let's see how it looks. I think it looks all right. And then uh, now let's get to that text again. Um, I will. Just remove that text and then uh, as I say the shortcut to putting a text onto your uh, canvas I'll just click on the canvas that we're working on then I'll press T on the keyboard it brings the text holder and I'll say thank you Canva again as an example and then what we're going to do now I'll just uh, drag it uh, down below making sure it's in the middle as you can see the purple line um, yeah that's it then what I'll do I uh, will go to effects and then curve, so it curves it the other way around uh, as the first one. So what I'll do, I'll drag uh, this holder uh, to the other side all the way, as you can see there. Then what I'll do, I will drag uh, my text um, to the bottom a little bit and still keep in the center. Uh, let's see if we can go a bit more. I think that's, uh, I think that's all right with that. Um, if you want to do that way so you can do it then you can change the font you can change the font size as well you see it's bigger here and uh, you can change the font the actual font or make it blow bold as well um, you can play around with canvas as i said i put a video that has got everything uh, on how to use canvas a beginner so you can check that video up there or down below on the links and uh, that's how you do it guys that's how you can create a cast text into your um, your design and make it look uh, really really nice and professional and uh, take your designs to the next level um, I hope uh, this has been really helpful to you guys and that uh, you'll be able to go out and create your own designs uh, with uh, kept text in them as well and uh, take everything you do to the next level if you want to know more about Canva and all you can do with it I will put a card up so you can go and visit that video uh, it's called uh, Canva for beginners and you'll learn so much from it otherwise I'll put the links below for all the videos I've done on Canva that will be really helpful to you Thanks again for being here and we just want to thank Canva as well for coming up with this edition that we've been waiting for all this time. There you go guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's very exciting that now you can include a text into your design. If you have enjoyed this guys, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video. As I said before, I post two videos a week. One video for personal development and education like this one. And the other videos is usually about uh, health and nutrition. Okay guys, I hope uh, I will see you in the next video. You take care. Bye. I dare you to fix me I'm crossing the line again Falling on my knees No stranger to pain